What's cooking? Welcome to another fabulous, fantastic, and dramatic episode of What's Cooking right here on City TV. My name is Apioko. What are we cooking today? We're taking it back, back to the village, back to my grandmother's time, back to my great great grandmother's time, and yours too. We're going to pound some fufu and make some light soup. One sheep with we legge legge cool. So now, these days, a lot of people use powdered fufu. You know, they cut it on top of the stove, as we say. But look, there's nothing as sweet as an authentic fufu dish that's been made with cassava, plantain, and pounded in a mortar with a pistol, the traditional way. So when we come back, we're going to get right into it. But let me warn you, don't faint when you discover who is going to be cooking this meal. This is What's Cooking, and you are very welcome. Welcome back. This is still What's Cooking on City TV. It's Apioko. And if you're just joining us, I said we're pounding fufu today. This show is sponsored by Fortune Rice. And if you eat Fortune Rice, then you know that Fortune Rice is always on point, just like Mama. Also sponsored by Indomie Instant Noodles. It tastes absolutely great. And Sankofa Natural Spices. Didier. Bebia and natural. Look, it's only my sponsors who can get me to speak tree like that because they are big people, <laughs> right? So three amazing sponsors. Thank you. Go out there, see their products. These are things that must be eaten and must be used in your kitchen. Now, it's time to welcome my guest. You may know him as a media aficionado. You may know him as a family man, a husband who is very present. You may know him as a tourism ambassador. You may know him as someone who has sponsored many creative arts ventures, supported creative artists, helped media people in Ghana. You may know him and he may mean several things or one thing to you. But his name is just one. It's singular. The Abeku Santana. Or someone will say Santana. <laughs> What's cooking? What's cooking? <laughs> so you tell me. Okay, first things first. Mm. What's cooking apron, my brother? Well, thank you, for Apioko. You, for you, Thanks for, for having you, me. For thank you for yeah. coming. Yeah. It's an honor. Chef Santana. Yeah, chef, I yeah, like Chef yeah, Santana. Man, yeah. Chef Santana is coming to pound food. Yeah, I'm not a cook or a chef. You're a chef. Yeah, yeah. 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 Kapu, pa, pa, pa. Important <laughs> distinction. <laughs> not a cook, not a caterer. No, He's a chef. I'm a chef. Okay, so what are we making? I mean, I've told everybody that we are coming to pound food, but. We need to hear from the horse's own mouth. All right. So, as we know, fufu is a popular delicacy in Ghana. Absolutely. And marriage is like fufu. You know that? How is marriage like fufu? Okay. So, two different food stuff coming together mm -hmm. to form one whole meal. And that okay. is how marriage is. Two different people. The cassava comes from the ground. The plantain, you pluck it from the tree. And if you peel the cassava, you see it's white. <laughs> if you peel the plantain, it's yellow. So in every relationship, we have different backgrounds. This is from the soil, this is from up. But when you come together, you need a common understanding. You need to understand that your temperament, your patience, your emotions, your anger is going to totally be different from mine. But we need to come together so that we understand each other. It's so you. because I'm coming to uh, up your course um, program, I have to get a poem you came ready so that yes 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 so that you can get it but you're not wasting time no 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 no, no, no 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 you see i want you to enjoy my fufu we don't want to waste time so how did you learn how to prepare fufu um my parents um first 
um, in child. So, um, and my mom gave birth to only one female. Unfortunately, we lost her. Oh, so, um, I did most of the household chores. So, how many boys? We were four okay. and one girl. Look, look at the way you're just slain the, <laughs> the cassava. Yes, yeah, so, so this was before technology. Mm. Now, those born after computer will not understand this, but those born before computer who knows what I'm doing. way of checking whether the food stuff you're buying is good or not uh, you kiss the fish to kiss the fish yeah you kiss so, no, so what pull do you like. taste what do you taste to okay know that so it's bad or it's if good? it's bad like the saying goes every fish starts rot from the head mm. yeah so once you kiss it and it's bad you can taste you know the the sour taste or the bad taste then you know that this fish is not good so i need to wash it then we'll put it okay. on fire. You have some water yeah, here. Yeah, so I'll give just me water. That for you. See, your wife should be very proud of you. The husband who cooks. See, the you have exposed the, the me. Said <laughs> I have never prepared fufu for my wife. I don't do this at home. I've Why done, not? I've done jollof and, uh, you know, the simple food, Why but not, not fufu. You know, I'm daddy, Mix so... Mix this, please. I'm daddy, daddy so... Daddy must cook home. Yeah. Daddy must cook for the house. And then do the other thing for her, so... <laughs> So, you know how we put the cassava in the bowl yes. before we boil it yes. or cook it? Yes. You have to put the cassava must be down, yeah. then the plantain up, okay. because this is more harder than this. Yeah. So, it is the vapor. You don't put too much water. You understand that. If joke. you put too much water, <laughs> <laughs> it, will, it will melt it. This should be big enough, right? Yeah. Okay. The way you talk about food with passion. Hey, I like Fufu Papa. Talk I know if well, His Majesty you, uh, is you, watching okay. me right now. I mean, um, the King of Ashanti, he will invite me one day to Otu come for and for Yeah, yeah. Nana, piao, 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 piao. Otu for himself. <laughs> we greet you, Your Majesty. <laughs> okay, so let me light this. There we go. Okay. And you know, I also lived and work in Kumasi. And in Kumasi, if you want to survive, there are four basic essential things you don't have to, uh, excuse me, to say disrespect. Mm. One is the fufu. You must respect fufu. It's, it's, it's the most Kodra popular Kodra delicacy. Kodra Kutobu can relate to this. If you want fufu 12 midnight, 1 a.m., just go to Asafu. <laughs> Subi, you will get fufu there. Frema, can you relate to this? I know, Frema is my sister <laughs> way back from Abripo Janshin. You know when she started from Radio Mercury, so Frema has been in the industry for more than 21 years. It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. So, um, that, okay. So now let's come to, to the fish. Everybody yeah. has a history. <laughs> okay. So what are we doing? With okay. The fish? So now, is there a we reason the why you've chosen this these particular varieties okay, um, of fish? Okay. As we aging, or as we growing, um, fat and cholesterol deposit in our body must be reduced okay. drastically. So I've decided not to eat meat. Okay, so that punchy crack, crack should rest small. Yes, yes. You can give that <laughs> the to goats, the young boys. Yes. Yeah, the yeah. Maybe young once ones. a while, but yeah. you know, um, okay. I don't eat meat. Okay. So but my favorite protein is salmon. Okay. My favorite protein is salmon. But you know, to localize it and make it more a can, Ish. you have to add adrenaline. Uh -huh. This is adrenaline. It is the fish that is believed. It comes from you know the rivers and this comes from the sea mm. it is believed that if you eat adrenaline adrenaline is brain ha ah, it means that if you eat adrenaline you get adrenaline <laughs> you get common sense you be sharp brain so let's wash it okay so we need some more water yeah need so water to wash it more water mm -hmm. um this is how i want to blend my pepper okay. you must put the pepper in 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 the bowl okay as you cook it okay. boil it to some you know temperature then you, and then blend, you blend it. it. Okay, yes. that's fine. That's yes. like my mother's style. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we have another pot here just yeah. in case. Try and take the and then let me empty this as the well. tail part of it off. I 
everything yeah. is okay. Okay, we can so we're good? Yes. Yeah, tomatoes ready. Yeah, so we need some water to wash them off. Yes. Okay. Onions so onion this ready. is how you chop your onions okay. for soup. Okay. You can do it into four halves. Okay. So it should be chunky. Yes. So what was it like growing up in a compound house in Kufri? Yeah. Uh, hey, plenty of things. So um, that's where I saw people not talking. You know, um, you know, housemates not talking Somebody's to each other. Somebody's offended. Yes. <laughs> and when they are not talking to each other, their children should also not talk to oh. themselves. But you know, in the house we pretend we don't talk to ourselves. But when we go out. And we have fun. You play. You understand? And sometimes, <laughs> you know, they'll come and ask, so can I get your blender? Can I get your, you know, um, kettle? Can I get your iron? It's only in Compa House that, but I miss all those, you know, <laughs> experiences. You know, I live in a gated community. Nobody will come and ask you of anything. Mm -hmm. That's very bad. You see, oh, of, uh, times have changed. <laughs> so we're going to blend okay. this. All right. Okay. Are we adding and, uh, anything else? Yes, we'll okay. add a little water. Okay. We can use it, right? Oh, yes, we can. One more. Okay. So that's going and on And at fire. this point, yes, it's okay. going on so fire. At this point, you we'll add salt. Okay. Um, Is it intentional that we didn't add salt to this? No, you don't add salt to fufu. Good. Yeah. Some people do, but... Um, that is not, not how I was. Okay. Brought I don't. I don't okay, so either. Okay, you need there's salt. Okay, so just a pinch. Yes. Okay. It's okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So now I'll go straight onto the fire. Yes. Okay. Let me put it here. Okay. That's fine. So at this point, let's go on a break, and when we come back, we'll see how our cassava and our plantain yeah. are doing, and then our adrini fish, yeah. our salmon, yeah. all the things in there, all this yeah. goodness. Yes. We'll see how it's all coming together to make yeah. this marriage. That's yeah. fufu Marriage is, is like fufu. And yes. the pounding, I'm going to pound and I can't and wait. That's my myself. favorite part. Yeah. I cannot <laughs> wait. We'll be right back. This is What's Cooking right here on CCTV. What's Cooking? <laughs> Welcome back. It's still What's Cooking right here on City TV. And it's still all about the drama in this kitchen where we are marrying Fufu. We are, we are, we're, we're bringing the marriage of Fufu out together with our big good Santana. He's not wearing his hat today. Don't be deceived. <laughs> it's him in the flesh. And he's doing the Fufu thing. Yeah. Okay, so where are we? Before we went on the break, we put um, yeah, so now know, our, our vegetables our soup, on the fire. Okay. We need um, okay, so Sankofa natural Very spices. Mm -hmm. Important. Okay, so this is the chicken and chicken beef. Chicken and beef. Okay. And then Can't you smell the aroma? I it's can. coming. I can. Yeah. Look. <laughs> this is a chef. We yes. have a chef in our midst. I told you. Okay. You see, when you know who you are and what you are, you say it. It's not bragging. You're only telling the truth. Now, when I tell um, people that I can cook, they don't believe it. Uh, they don't believe it. Today, you are seeing for yourself, feely, feely. Okay, so okay. how is our soup doing, our um, soup elements? We have our, our blended. Tomatoes are veggie yes, blended. It's here. Tomato, okay. So this is, let's remind Good. our viewers, blended so tomatoes, onions, going pepper, straight. ginger in there as well. Good. Okay. You mentioned earlier that at some point you remove the yes. onions, the yes. tomatoes that some, you started yes. boiling, and then boil yeah, so some of them. We'll blend this. Okay. We'll blend okay. this tomato. This one. This is authentic light soup. My mother would be so excited to see this. Hi, mommy. <laughs> Okay. Is this okay? Good. Smooth enough. Perfect. Good. See, I'm a good sous chef. All right. So just give me some, some water. water. This enough? That's okay. Okay. 
So we're pouring it right in there. Yes. Okay. That's okay. Are we going to do any more blending? Nope. No. Okay, we're so done with all I'll the blending. I'll just ask our to take um, this. And we need some more water as well. So. so let's leave it to boil for some time. So now we're done. The main action. The time main to pound meal. the yeah. food. Yeah. Time to, <laughs> to put what God has put together together. Yes. So that no man can put it asunder. You're right. So let's go for a quick break. And when we come back, we will be pounding the fufu. So we're downstairs now. It's time to pound the fufu. This sacred fufu that my brother Abeku Santana has been talking about since we began the show today. Okay, and for, for, for anybody who is not familiar with what goes into this and you're wondering why you've changed location, you, you never, don't do it. It's a no no. Don't pound fufu on top of a building. You may break it down, crumbling all together, and then we'll have London Bridge falling down. We don't need that. Okay, so it's time to pound. Yeah. Okay, and, and what makes this special is that Abeku Santana can pound the fufu and tena at the same time. It's a rare skill, I tell you, but he can do it. Chef Santana can do it. Okay. Okay, so starting with the plantain. Yeah. Okay. All righty. See? We, we like action. We don't like talk. He said he can do it and he's doing it. <laughs> See, you must hit it well so that you get it all mixed. Okay. And I'm going to turn and drive it okay. and get that whole perfect mix. As we say, we say you, you, you drive it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and proposing to the University of Ghana <laughs> and to the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology that you give Abeku a slot to teach the art of fufu making. <laughs> Very important. The art of fufu making. <laughs> when we're kids, you'll be sent to the market, they'll write a list of items to buy you come you have to bring the items down for your mom or your dad to inspect whether you bought <laughs> yes but then you you dare not, the you right adrenaline you dare not the pocket the change <laughs> because if you pocket the change they will know one day <laughs> so that was the beginning of integrity mm. and how to be mm a trustworthy person. In fact, even when we attend church, they don't give our offering money to us. My mom will keep the offering money in a purse. We will go to the children's service. When it's time for offering, oh, you cross the road <laughs> <laughs> from children's service and go to the adult service and collect your offering uh, money. And you dare not use the offering money to buy ice cream. No ice cream, no, no, no alewa. No. And during offering time, <laughs> we used to sing the song. Nyami waha, nyami wo fie, nyami waha, nyami wo baby ara. Oye bonia obe wu, obe ti, obe chua, oye bonia orange la oda. So, <laughs> so, so, you don't have to pocket the offering money. Or use the offering money to buy yeah, ice, ice cream. cream. If you need anything, ask. Absolutely. Integrity right there. Yeah. Integrity right there. Okay. How are we doing? So, we're good. Okay, so, we can take it out now. So, this okay. is the first round. So, we have our bowl okay. here. Of the okay. okay. So, you see, you got the texture. Yeah. Right. Roll it nicely. So, we're now going to okay. mix. We're going to pound the cassava. Okay. Now, we'll start with that cassava. Our cassava. Okay. If you don't do it well, you get some puff mm. and some heart, you know, nuts in mm. it. 
So it should be smooth. Food it should, should be, be smooth. smooth. Yes. It's a, we swallow food. It's what we call a swallow, yes. right? So you don't need any lumps in there. Yeah. All right. Off to a good start. So now half of the cassava goes yes. in. Okay. Goes in here. All right. The so this is where the marriage starts. Cover, cover. Yes. Yeah, so this is where the marriage starts. <laughs> <laughs> if you're just joining us, this show is sponsored by Fortune Rice. And Fortune Rice is always on point, just like Mama. Indomie Instant Noodles is a sponsor as well. And we say Indomie tastes great. No two ways about that. And of course, Sankofa Natural Spices. We use some of that to make the soup today. And Sankofa Natural Spices has an interesting tagline because it's all the truth. Didiye, bibia ya natural. Okay. And unfortunately, we couldn't make Indomie fufu. We couldn't make rice fufu. You know, but at the right time, you I'll see do, all I'll those products. Rice bowls, rice bowls yes, yeah, with fortune we'll rice. We do it. Yeah. No problem. Yes. Let me help you. Here. Do we have our bowls here? Yes, we do. Or we'll serve up there. Oh, we have our bowls. And so at this point, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll be at table. We'll eat our fufu, the marriage. That is fufu. With our light soup, which is on the fire. It's almost done. And then we'll have some great conversations with the man, Abeku Santana. This is What's Cooking. We'll be right back. Welcome back. It's What's Cooking on City TV. Now, if you just joined us, you're extremely late. Abeku Santana has been marrying Fufu. <laughs> he <laughs> says Fufu is like marriage. And yeah, right. I'll let him explain that one more time in his own words before we end the show. But it's time to eat. We're hungry. We've been cooking for a while. And we have some guests. There's Mina Dab. Look, Mina is the Fufu queen. Fufu queen. Look, if we didn't invite her to this table. <laughs> She'd have been very offended and probably wouldn't have spoken to me ever again. <laughs> so she's here, and we have the king of Accra. Yeah. His government name is Nikomi. <laughs> but we call him the king of Accra, producer extraordinaire, beat maker extraordinaire, and of course, Abeku, who has whipped up this wonderful meal of fufu and light soup, is here with us as well. So, Abeku, in the traditional home, the one who prepares the soup it's dishes safe, it. Yeah. So, over to you. Okay. Let me get some water because I know we need to wash our hands. Yes. Okay. So I'll go for salmon. Yeah. That's your favorite fish. Yes. Okay. So once we're done. Mina, which fish did you choose? Okay. Okay. That's your that's your jam, eh? Hey, Shmina. Okay. Okay. That's why I asked Matt. To waste it. Smells That's good fine. Though. Thank you, it smells yeah, delicious. And I must remind you that this show is sponsored by Sankofa Natural Spices. Mm -hmm. Didier, Didier, Bibiaya Natural. We use some of that and we use the soup stock and we also use the um, beef and chicken stock as well. No preservatives, no MSG, no salt. So it's still natural, but packaged for the modern man, right. modern woman who knows how to cook. Okay, and then Indomie instant oh, noodles. Yes, we have some spoons. Spoon Indomie want. instant noodles. I said one of these days we're going to make Indomie light soup, soup because Indomie What's tastes great with everything. <laughs> Jimmy Quist. <laughs> Fortune Rice is also a sponsor, <laughs> and Fortune Rice is always on point, no, just no, like no, Mama. Where did you come from? Don't worry. Please, your table and your chair are there. If you even didn't provide for me, I'll provide for myself. <laughs> I know your table and your chair. I shall there. be back. I think we're eating with our hands. Sure, sure, uh -huh. sure, sure. So let's dig in. Now, I, I want us to have a conversation, Abeku, since you're here. And we earlier were talking about how your family moved from Kofiridia to Accra in the 80s. 
You grew up in at a Raqqa Asylum down. Please move yeah, your, your something from there. The, um, I grew up in Adara Asylum down. Mm -hmm. um, Simple mm -hmm. Manche. Mm. Then mm. Avel. This is good soup. Yeah. Thank you. Good soup. Now mm. I don't like a lot of salt, so for me it's perfect. Uh. Does anybody need a little bit mm. more salt? It's yes. fine. You're good. You want a bit more salt? Sorry, no, yeah. I'm not salt salt friendly. So I mean, my parents don't eat salt at all. So Hello. you've done me Hello. some good. Check my accoutrement <laughs> to devour <laughs> mm -hmm. your fufu mm -hmm. and light soup. <laughs> I don't think this is potogum shigum. This is nice. Yes. Spoonish. For a nice fufu. Yes. So, what are you going to do with all the It's part of my accoutrements in tasting good food. Taste in general. Internationally acclaimed. Uh, let me hide. What is and internationally my, acclaimed? My Some culinary salt. set and my good day. <laughs> and uh, are you serving me or I should serve myself? Oh, please serve yourself. But, yeah, you, you weren't part of the plan. Don't worry. Anyway, I'm not afraid. Growing okay. up in the asylum down at Abakaya, Simpe, Mancha area, you know, you and you started out in media very early. How old were you when? Earlier we spoke about mm. Vibe FM, early days, when yeah. you were a production hand, Yeah. you know? Then I moved to Kofo India. So how old were you then? That was after my national service mm. in 1997, 1998, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the evolution of the media. You worked with GBC, um, you saw yeah. productions like... Um, what public do you concern, know? Public concern. You know? I mean, you, you, you've seen all that. We How can has, rendezvous. Absolutely. How has media evolved in, in your estimation? What are some of, the, some of the things that noticeably, in your estimation, have changed? I had the opportunity of having a master class, a PD grad school in Los Angeles. <laughs> and uh, this is a Dan O'Day um, radio program that I test conference. Mm -hmm. And I saw the transition from analog mm -hmm. to digital and digital now to terrestrial. Wow. So <laughs> very soon. In fact, now you can even get radio on television set. And that is digital audio broadcast. So apart from the fact that content has changed, technology itself <laughs> has changed broadcasting. Because we grew up listening to radio from Kofi Adeka, that is the red diffusion box. That's right. <laughs> and radio, there was even schedule for radio. Um, that was when if you hear a signature tune, it calls your attention that time is up, <laughs> you understand? So radio was everything. Um, fortunately and coincidentally, my father named me after a radio presenter. Uh -huh. Even before my mom gave birth to me. And I didn't know about this until I became a radio presenter. But then I remembered vividly that when I was a kid, you know, around five years, I used to listen to radio with my dad. Mm. My dad named me after Gilbert Ankara wow. of Blessed Memory. Wow. He was a newscaster on GBC. You he see, later became a, a chief. Don't know that called Gilbert. Yeah. <laughs> he later became a chief of Akutia, mm. and his name was changed from Gilbert Ankara to Berima Ohimin Kwetia. Mm. So, those of you who know my English name or first name as Gilbert, I was named after um, a radio presenter. Mm. Um, so, I saw the evolution of radio from back in the days when we didn't even have FM from short wave and uh, amplitude uh, modulation, which is AM. Right. And leaving the short wave, we had SW1 and SW2. Mm. So I used to listen to radio from Sierra Leone, Gambia, Senegal, mm. and Nigeria. Mm. And Gabon. Mm. And Gabon. Mm. Mm. You didn't and know that. Were, and they were all coming to Ghana. Mm. When there's summer time, you can get Gabon. Yes, on the SW waves. Mm. But like I said, technology changed the transmission of radio broadcasting from those media 
to what we call frequency modulation FM. Mm. FM came in 1994. And around that time, we had finished secondary school. And then... Um, and that's relatively uh, recent. Yes, I mean, you can say recent. Yes, re yes, relatively. As, as yeah. old as the Fourth Republic. Maybe not for the ones who were born in 97, but <laughs> I mean, when I think that, of that's 94... Just, that's 27 years ago. Absolutely. The Lion King was already in existence. You know, mm -hmm. we already knew Khan his movies. So 94 is relatively... Uh, the Fourth Republic was yeah. already in motion. So 92? 94 is, is relatively recent. Yeah. yeah. So even in 1994, when we had um, radio GAR, yeah. mm. GAR also used to broadcast on some scheduled times. It starts in the morning from 4.30, 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. and closes at 10 a.m. And they introduced 10 a.m. Yeah, they yeah. break mm. and come back and come 4, back 4, yeah. 4 p.m. Like a Chinese restaurant. Yes, then continue <laughs> and close transmission at 10 p.m. That is how um, I was an avid listener of radio from infancy. Mm. So I didn't know that I'll become a radio presenter until I said I live just behind the trust towers at Asylum Dam and Vibe FM came. Mm. You know, when Vibe FM came, it was the urban radio, and I was, you know, youth at that time, and we're moving with that vibe. Absolutely. So I remember those days, we had the Black Stars, uh, Black Starless, 1991, for Dati Law Singh, and those guys, they used to play football around Adabraka, the Sakasaka Park, so we're following them. Then we saw, I um, mean, Harry's Accord, um, mm. A restaurant, bus stop. <laughs> we used to have Thursday live mm, bus bank. stop. <laughs> you know, BB Men's in the virus, Tish, Powers, they'll come around. But then Joy FM was there, Radio Gold was also there. Mm. So these were the few radio stations we had. It was later that we had Groove FM in Osu, Cuckoo Hill, mm. which is now Adum FM. FM. Then um, we had Sunshine Radio which became Choice, Choice FM, yeah. and now I think it's Star FM. Star FM. No, it's no, Kasapa. It's Kasapa now. So, Same family. Yes. So we saw the evolution of radio. We wanted to also become a radio presenter. I was hovering around Vibe FM. Never got the opportunity. I remember Jimmy was at Joy FM, you know, back in the days. Um, there was this guy called Sam Bannerman. Taster General. Sam Bannerman was so, technician. So technician. tasting food was not your first profession. <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to have a look at the studio of Joy FM. You can't go to the studio. The studio was prohibited to non guests. So you have to wait after the transmission is over. And sometimes I'll wait at the front <laughs> decks and mosquitoes will oh. bite me through. You remember, they had a lot of mosquitoes I mean, at the time. So when the broadcast is over, the transmission is over, I have the opportunity to go and see the studio and ask, what is this? What is that? What is that? And you would actually wait for that? Yes, I'll wait for that. Okay. My, me and my friend call um, Nana Kofi at a Humpty oh. Dumpty, you know, back in the days. <laughs> He's also MC now. I never got the opportunity. Like I said, all these urban radio stations were looking for those with the, the foreign silky, accent, silky that vibe. British accents. Yes. So, Hello, good afternoon. It's 12 p.m. Yes. news. <laughs> so we were street local guys. That's why I started with Black Santino from Black mm. North Vibes. You know, he was a reggae you know, presenter. Then, I gathered this experience of the studio where production assistants mm. moving here and there, um, public concern with uh, Mr. Cyril Akulache at um, British Council, and then assisting production at GBC, then Vibe FM. Then I heard of a new station coming up in Koforidia. So I approached them, and my mom was in Koforidia. Like I told you, I was born in Koforidia. So that was where I approached them that I have experience in radio production. They tried me on air. In fact, they, they tried me with a voiceover. They took me to the studio and asked me to do some voiceovers. I spoke some broken howler <laughs> and they believed me. <laughs> I, and I did a liner. 
When you're feeling down, all you have to do is to turn your dial on Z. 105.1, Radio Z. Wow, wow. So you were you were, you were just to two papa and so any. No, it's Alpha. because I was on the street <laughs> and I saw this new yeah. culture, this new... You learned it by watching, uh, yes. by experiencing I observe it. it. I learned from BB Men saying, Michael, Cook, Powers, and Tish. Mm. They were doing the first urban entertainment show called Smash. We had Smash TV. So I was learning from them. That I go to Bascom and watch them emceeing and sometimes I write those vibes mm. and go and rehearse. You know, I stand in front of my mirror and I rehearse like an MC. I, you, were, you were determined and, and <laughs> Abika, I'll come back to you, but let me come to you, King of Accra. You have experienced media in a different way. So I mean, you're a speed maker, what we'd call a sound engineer, um, many people would say a music producer, depending on, I mean, you actually make music, you don't just yes. make beats, you make music, you write lyrics yes, as well. And I, I see that when Big Brother Abiku was mentioning the AM, the FM, yeah. and the SW1, you're like, yeah, because these are things you probably learned in school. Yes. For and, you. And also experience. Absolutely. What, what was the experience like for you? Because I know you also, just like our Big Brother here, learned a lot of this on the job. Okay. So um, my story is not too um, different from his. I also used to go from I, I used to go to Vibe FM mm. to go and meet Jeremy and Jay Foley. I think that was way after what he is, what, mm. what he has been talking about, just to um, have a feel of yeah, what. That's was, before Vibe became Vibe. What was Vibe then? Uh, Vibe was at the was at the. So that's trust, before trust, Vibe became. Trust, that's trust. before Vibe became Live. But you know, Vibe yes. moved to mm. Audome and all that. Absolutely, yes. and then came back, right? <laughs> I used, I used to go there just to go and look for I ran out I was just trying to get my music on radio and I knew people who knew Jeremy and Jay Foley so I went one time to go and meet um, them and then I got to know that this is where they were they were very receptive I think oh. well, that, this was before uni and a uh, uni was in 2008 so okay so this must have been 2006-2007 yes the, the earlier part of the 2000s yes okay yes oh, no 2000 and Two three was um, high school. Two thousand and eight was uni. So it was doing uni. It was doing uni. Okay. Yes, it was doing uni. But I mean, even in your production work, equipment has changed. Yes, equipment has right? changed. Has changed. Yes, definitely. I mean, I, I a lot of the time when I'm going on set, you're micing me. We work on um, sound branding together. We do a lot of interesting yes. things in the montage, production space. Montage yes. Sounds and everything. Um, well, how has the equipment changed in that regard? Well, things things continue to change. Like you know, when people think of media, they think of what you hear and what you see, but they don't know what's going on in the background. background. Okay. You so know, and your job is very critical. Yes. The sound yes. to what is happening in the background, so that we can hear in the first place. Okay. So right? now, instead of having probably, for example, instead of having like uh, maybe a wire running maybe from here to there, now we have wireless things. So mm. what maybe we are, we are speaking to a microphone right now, the receiver is somewhere downstairs or somewhere that we can still transmit without having visible mm. cables all around. Before you're, you're a walking fire hazard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to carry a lot of things, but now things are reduced and you can actually complete production with minimal, minimal stuff due to um, the yeah. kind of technology you have that we a have laptop now. some software and you're just good. you're good to go because okay, i can literally make music like on a train or in in in, a, in an aircraft mm. because we don't need a huge we don't need huge equipment mm. to to make that happen you can have your little sound card your microphone and then okay. you're good to go and and i'll come back to you so nina what's your experience then i'll you know. call myself a newbie you yes. know that yes i i it's joined fine. the media <laughs> not too long ago but even within the time you joined things have changed um yes yeah. things have changed things have changed well i joined the media doing just radio um initially which was um city city fm uh -huh. just city fm and then tv was introduced for me but for me i think it, it went way back to um i'll say way back to uni days where i was doing focus fm also um, an affiliate of City and then Tech TV. And so I got right. a bit of experience there. So this is when, think, you're, when you're on KNUST yes, campus. Yes, KNUST campus. Both, both are on KNUST campus. So um, that was basically where it started from for me. Um, I was listening to Abeku Santana. <laughs> I mean, you know I'm an Akosombo, Akosombo <laughs> babe. And yeah. um, when I go home, my auntie's dial is always there. <laughs> uh, Abeku Santana, the worship 
the worship um, session he used mm -hmm. to have. Mm -hmm. So I, I really enjoyed what he was doing. And I remember saying, oh God, that's like such a silky voice. I just wish I, I could. Cool. Are, you, are, you, are you blessing? <laughs> oh, no. I, I oh, hope he is. <laughs> So, I, well, so people like himself and, you know, the Bernard Affleck, all the people we've been listening to, some of us just started listening to the people who are on radio, still on radio now right. and on TV now. So, it, the, the, I would say the, the likeness for radio, the passion started from there, basically, and then I am here now. For the, for the evolution, I may not be able to go, of course, right. way back because yes. social media, I was born into all uh -huh. of that, uh -huh. so, and it's still there now, so yeah but but your story is is still special mm. because you see um we, we we've spoken a lot about learning on the job and people taking your hand that was the case for you king of the yes. crack that was the case for you abeku um tasted general now that we know that you had a profession before you were tasting our food uninvited you too that was your experience <laughs> to some extent mm -hmm. but mina yeah i was a dj i was a dj <laughs> i know he dances <laughs> and he still does no at the point yeah. it was my producer sometimes i stand uh, on my window and he's, my he's dancing <laughs> well, he's not he wearing wear singlets in the age of. yeah he was my producer <laughs> are you listening oh you just come over there Jimmy was my producer. Yes. When I came to Accra, like when I came back to Accra from Kumasi, he was my producer, road manager, and almost everything. Yes, and um, he One was also show. our librarian. Now these days, radio has changed. You know, in our days, when we started, I know they, when we started radio, uh, before you go on air to present a program, you must come out with your program. You know, synopsis, what you are going to do at every time belt, yeah. the song that you are going to play. So you do your show prep at least two hours before the show starts. The show starts. And you select songs that will suit the topic that you are going to discuss. So, for instance, if today we're going to talk about house help <coughs> or home care assistant, mm. there are songs you can get an unpaid song. Or if we're going to talk about drivers. <laughs> You know, those, I mean, old, I mean, musicians, their songs were, you know, issues and life-related yeah. yeah. stories, mm -hmm. you understand? So you need to go and do a show prep, music selection, that will suit and complement the subject that you're going to discuss. Mm -hmm. Today, you listen to radio, they are talking about a very all-important subject like agriculture, and when they want to take a music break, they are playing with Freedom. Kids. They are playing whiskey. Okay, so that was where he came in for you as a no, producer. I'm saying that that was, was our, the of, culture. Yeah, that was the structure. structure. Mm -hmm. So we had that structure system there. So he was a music mm -hmm. librarian. Mm -hmm. So when you go to him, you tell him that I want a song on this or that. I'm talking about children, unity or peace. Yeah. So he will go into the, I mean, the library and select songs, whether local or foreign, oh, and give you. Yeah. So you need time. To, prep to get that. to prepare, yes. Yeah. But even in some counties in Africa, like South Africa, they do. Is there? Yes. Today and we don't have libraries as they existed then. But I'm very happy that you've mentioned this, Abeku, because at City, you know, um, you keep saying something. Oh, you like City content and radio yeah, yeah. and TV as well. And um, as a, as a brother in the space, you're happy to see what we're doing here. But one of the things we take very seriously is our show prep. Um, even for radio, there are scripts, um, and not just for the newscasters, but there's always a structure that you're going by, there's always a plan, you know, and when I came to City, I mean, I had a very different route into media from all of you, it was never part of my plan, um, throughout uni, between law, real estate, banking, and then I ended up teaching, I was teaching full-time before I came to City, um, because a friend of mine said, look, you're a strong writer, and City has this culture um, of you know this international standard of production and it's very heavy on writing so why don't you try production and the writers project absolutely yeah. you see so I'm, I'm very happy to hear that so it means that that culture was there but somehow we lost it and that brings me to my next question I and mean, as we wrap up the conversation um, big brother Abeku these days there's digital media there's social media and you are very active on social media I see what you do you're very creative with social media content 
just as creative and current as you are with your traditional media wings, be it TV or radio, like you've always been. But now, I mean, you said something that you can make music on a train, yes, on a plane. On a plane yeah. Does it mean that anybody who has digital tools is a journalist or is a media expert or, or, or knows and understands media through and through? You can say yes and no. Mm. Yes, in the sense that who is a journalist? A journalist is a person who writes journals or articles. It is the only profession that you don't necessarily have to be trained mm. before you can practice it. We have doctors who are journalists or columnists Absolutely. in our news uh, papers or sure. uh, no, dailies. Yeah. They are writing columns, but they are not trained journalists. You just have to be an expert opinion on issues mm. in an area. Then you master it. Mm. But when you become a broadcaster or a professional broadcaster, or broadcast journalists. There are two different, you know, distinctions between a broadcaster and a broadcast journalist, journalist. and a, a newscaster or a presenter. Mm. Now, the, the broadcast journalist is the one who has been trained to write and he comes out with captions headline. For instance, if I want to keep my listeners in suspense of my four-hour program, in my introduction, I know what to say. That will keep listeners glued or hold to the dial. You understand? How do I put it? Do you know that every five minutes this and that happens in Accra? Today I'll tell you. Mm. <laughs> in my introduction, you want to say, I'll tell you. Um, excuse me. Do you know the last words that Nana Kwame Ampedu said before he died? On the day that Nana Ampedu has passed on, may he so rest in peace. I want to get listeners glued. So if you are a broadcast journalist, a trained one, you'll be trained and equipped with the skills of how to hold mm. your listeners. Mm. Nobody listens to radio. They listen to what interests them. Absolutely. And even these days, as you know, technological disruption, whilst you are listening to radio, you are getting notification on your phone. True. So you tend to go and check those notifications. So in this destructive technological age, radio is competing, you know, um, the new media. Absolutely. So how do you get people to watch TV and listen to you, drive and listen to you? These are skills that you need to be equipped with so that you can maintain your relevance in the industry. If not, you'll be on air, you're talking, you are presenting, you are just occupied with, but you are not impacting and affecting because at the end of your program, what is the takeout or the takeaway? What is that one thing that your audience would remember? Right. Yeah. Brilliant. You understand? Because you can tune in. I listen, I listen to other radio stations seriously. And I pick stuff from them. And later change it and make it my own. My two favorite radio stations are City FM and YFM. I've said it oh. over and over and over. And that is why even though I've been in the game for a long time. You can see that urban youth, yeah. you know, vibe Very in me. Very useful. Discovering <laughs> even new talents. All the time. I mean, today I played a sound to yes, um, yes. King of Accra. <laughs> and I said, look at this lady I've discovered. I brought Ebony on radio. I, I recently I brought Black Sheriff. I introduced and endorsed him. You know, he was with me for more than eight months before I launched him on radio. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm on the street. I'm listening, so I listen to YFM and I listen to CTFM. I listen to CTFM to get, you know, those professional ethics and mm. stuff and content and serious analytical discussion. Mm. That is, if I need serious analytical discussion, I come to City. Mm. You know, a City breakfast is, you know, right. a City business news. <laughs> I listen. Of course, I listen to Joy FM, and uh, but with the mass radio. I think we are almost doing the same okay. thing. But let me take final words from Mina, right? So, um, first of all, I would say a big thank you to you, for instance, and all the other big goons who paved the way for some of us. Because, I mean, listening to you, listening to all these people was what gave us the, the re gave us reasons to say, oh, we too can do this. And, of course, um, I, the, I didn't have the radio background. I did economics in school. I had no idea what I was <laughs> going to do after school. And then I changed on radio later on. And it was because of you guys and what you did. And so it's a big thank you, I want to say, basically, for what you guys have done to pave the way Nothing for us. 
better than having the chance to thank your your inspiration in person. Thank you, thank and you. And doing it on camera, on what's cooking. Now he thank knows that. <laughs> and you, you King of Accra. I will just follow in line with what Mina said because <laughs> I'm just grateful to be amongst all of you. You you don't always get to eat food prepared by Abi. Oh, oh, you know oh, I mean? It is oh. what it is. So I'm grateful to be here. You know. <laughs> Taste the general. Yeah. You look very nostalgic. Yeah. But we need you to grade the food. The, the food, the grading, is done already. You can't, you can't, you see. <laughs> you told me that you, you, are, you are not corrupt. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. Because I've tasted this food before, and yeah. this is uh, part two of all that I've tasted. So you just taste food everywhere. Uh -huh. Then leave my house alone. <laughs> oh no! When this aroma is good, <laughs> <laughs> smells nice. With all the sankofa spices and yeah, the and thank you and the things in it, so this is good food, Nucci. excellent Nucci. 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 <laughs> Yes, man. Brother so, Abeku Santana, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you too. For and I hope you me. come back again to. I mean, today you did a walker. Those of you who are not Ghanaian, mm -hmm. mm, pounding <laughs> food and turning at the same time, what we call a walker, it's not easy. <laughs> it's a serious skill. See, you have to be either a hustler. Yeah. A culinary expert <laughs> or someone who just has interest in the marriage of food. <laughs> so, Brother Biku, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate Abby. your time. I know you're extremely busy. It's and always a we'll pleasure. catch up on other fronts sure. poetry, other creative arts, and we'll definitely cook again. Thank you so much. Thank Nina, you. thank you. I love you, my thank love you, baby. You. Love you always. <laughs> and Yami, thank you. Taste General, even though you weren't invited, you added some flavor to the, to the conversation. Yes. So, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been What's Cooking on City TV. My name is Apioko. Today we pounded fufu, we made light soup, and we did the thing. I'll leave out the word in between. We did the thing with our big brother, our big who, Santana. It's been a pleasure having him on the show, listening to his wisdom, his, I mean, the, the, the amount of history that he carries in his mind and heart. It was great to hear it and to be schooled. And of course, great food can't do without it on this show once again the show is sponsored mm. sponsored by fortune rice always on point just like mama indomie instant noodles tastes great and sankofa natural spices didier bibia and natural see you next week